I S U P K. To the family, brother Red Pill representing on the ledge. Do me a favor, family. Make sure you subscribe to I S U P K on YouTube. Get some of that fire that the brothers are delivering. Some of that good information. All right. Brat. Shalom, y'all by Shimmy Al Shah Barak Adam to all my brothers. Shalom, y'all with Shamar. Al Adam by Shimmy Al Shah to all my sisters, alright? I'm also Makabi at IHPK. Right here, I got the brother reading for me today, Trooper Yakodash. Soon to be an officer. Soon as he passed the officership test, alright? And today, we're gonna get into a, a very heavy topic. It's called Crimes Against Israel, alright? And pretty much what I'm talking about today is what's gonna be brought out is like the whole you know, police brutality and all the crimes that's been, you know, um, happening daily with, you know, blacks, Hispanic, and Native American men and women, all right? You know, you might hear some names, some familiar names like Eric Gardner, Jamar Clark, uh, uh, Freddie Gray, and, you know, et cetera, all right? And the first scripture that I'm going to get into is Zechariah 11 and 5, all right? Go ahead and get that. Zechariah 11 and 5! Eleven to five. Whose uh, whose possessors slay them uh -huh. and hold themselves not guilty? Okay, now read that one more time, loud and clear. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty? Now these are the white. I mean, this is the white race. All right, these people will kill your, you know, kill a black man or a black woman and use everything in their white power to try to hold themselves not guilty. And what comes out later, months later, weeks later, and the police report, you know, that cop is not found guilty. You know what I mean? Uh, even though the white man killed that black boy when, it's, when he had handcuffs on his back. When he choked that man out and cut off his air supply. Alright, when he broke that man's spine. But they hold themselves not guilty. You want to know why? Because they have a thing called power in this world that we live in called America. This is, the, this is the white man's world. They slay you. They burn you. They lynch you. They stab you. They rape, molest you. They commit all types of crimes against you and hold themselves not guilty. But when in reality, the blood is always on their hands. It always comes back to, you know, it always uh, goes back to them. All right? Go ahead, keep going. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. Mm -hmm. And their own shepherds pity them not. And let me tell you something. As they're killing you, you know, molesting and raping you and burning you, you know what I mean? Doing all types of evil, wicked things to you. They all, they, they, they give the glory, they say, Blessed be the Lord. And that's wicked, man, because it's not of the Lord. To be evil, that's the spirit of Satan. Keep going. When it said they pity what? For I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. See, our own shepherds, our own people, the own people that you grew up with, the people that uh, you know used to work in the churches, the Christians. You know what I mean? These people pity you. They hate you. They don't care about you. I mean, it's bad enough we got the white man down our back. Killing us and stressing us out every single day. They want to kill us because they hate you. 
And look, even your own people pity you. Alright? Go ahead and get uh, Psalms 55 and 20. You gotta understand, man. The, uh, I mean, don't you know that Nancy Reagan, uh, Ronald Reagan, uh, Nixon, they all took a part of flooding drugs into the black community? It started in California and then it went elsewhere, everywhere else. And only in the black ghettos, though. Only in the black ghettos. Nowhere else. That's an attack on black Hispanics. That's a crime. And, and check this out. I don't understand this. When, it, when it's a black man killing, killing another black man, it's not a crime. I mean, oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a crime. You know, I mean, well, it's like it. It is a crime to them, right? But as soon as a white man kills a black man, it's not a crime. It's self-defense. It's, he was, I was in fear of my life. It's, you know, he tried to reach for my gun. Things of that sort, man. That's, that's a goddamn lie. And according to the scriptures, that is a crime. Both of them is a crime. No brother should be killing another brother. And no devil should be ki killing a, a black Hispanic and an American man for no reason. For their, because, it's, because it's out of fear. That's not out of fear. You want to kill that man. And you know damn well in your heart you want to kill that damn man. Because you, fear, you really do fear him. But you don't want him to have power over you. You don't want him to have authority over you. So you kill him. You eliminate him. And you hate him because of his skin color, too. You hate him because he is the greatest man on the earth, according to the scriptures. He is God's children, child. But I'll tell you what. We will get our justice soon. Maybe not right now. You may, you know, you may be out there screaming protest and justice for such and such, but you won't get it right now. There will be a day of time you will. And you better believe it. Because that day is coming. Go ahead and read that. Psalms, verse 55. No, I mean, chapter. chapter 55, verse 20. Uh -huh. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Stop right there. Now, this is the white man. Uh, the white man, he tries to, I mean, the white man does what again? Say that one more time. So like, he hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace. Uh huh. Against such, uh, meaning against such people, such as Israel, the Israelites, the black people, the Hispanic people, the Native American people. He put his hands on us, he kills us. The blood is on his hands. Keep going. He has broken his covenant. He has broken his covenant with us. He has broken the covenant. Th this white man makes laws in America, but always breaks them, always violates them. But as soon as a black, Hispanic, Native American man violates and breaks those laws of the land, we're dead, we're killed. Oh yeah, he was jaywalking. Oh yeah, well, he spit on the ground. Well, he was selling loose cigarettes. When the white people sell loose cigarettes, they spit on the ground. All them little dumb laws that they got. You know what I mean? Jaywalking. They, they jaywalk. They drive on the wrong side of the road. You can see that 24-7 in the hood. You know what I mean? These little things they try to kill you for. They try to make any excuse to get you gone. And, and, the, and the problem is, too, it works. Oh, yeah, it works. Oh, yeah, a, a whole group of white people coming together, you know what I mean, with such power, Congress, a Supreme Court, court itself, judges, lawyers, and they all come together and be like, yeah, you know, he, he was right. But you have no one there to defend you. You want to know why? Because the shepherds pity you. They're not there for you. These black leaders are not there for you. No one's there for you how they should be. But the only person and man on this earth that is here for you is Commander General Yohanna. And you better believe it. You better get to know this man before your life turns out to be in the hands of the white man. That's all I gotta say. And you should get, you should get in contact with the brothers and sisters who are under Commander General Yohanna. Talk about the generals.
the officers, the captains, and the troopers as well. You better get in contact with these brothers. Because these brothers, are, these brothers could change your life. They could change your little brother's life who's out there selling drugs. They can change your little sister's life who's out there prostituting, who never had a father in her life, who never had a big brother to teach her and raise her up, or never had a mother as well to teach her how to be a woman. We can help her. Because she don't have to be in jail locked up for prostitution by the cops or somehow end up being beat and killed and raped by the cops, but not by no stranger. Because they try to cover that up too. Oh yeah, there's stories out there. Oh yeah. And another thing, you don't you don't have to get a phone call, find out that your you know your daughter or, or your or your son's been shot or stabbed or jumped, killed to death, stumped out. That's why it's good to come together with the IHBK because we can teach you correctly. IUIs we can't teach you nothing. But how to serve the white man and how to be a crooked person, not only a cop, but a crooked person to your own people. Because IUIC ain't no damn better than no Christians. Uh, I'll show you, I'll tell you later, alright? Um, keep going. Oh, is that is that is that on verse 20? Alright, go ahead and get Job 20 and 19. Alright, we finna get some more about this goddamn white man that you love so much, that you care so much and try to protect and shield when he's not doing nothing for you. Man, you, you living in, in strict poverty right now. You're living in hell right now. This is the hell. There ain't no such thing as us dying and going to a place called hell. We are already here. The white people are the devils. They are the demons of this earth. That is, that is ruling and killing us. Job 20 and 19. Go ahead and read that. Job 20 and verse 19. Uh -huh. Because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor, because he hath violently taken away an house which he buildeth not. Now this is also the white man as well. The white man has been oppressing the, uh, the nation of Israel for about 400 years or more. All right, it feels like it's a thousand years. You know what I mean? E even longer than that. You know, who, who, who knows the true estimate? All right, but I'll say over 400 years, the white man has been oppressing us with everything, religion, all right? With, with these wacko jobs, trying to be, trying to be a cop, trying, trying to be in the military, in the uh, uh, Air Force, things of that sort. You're being oppressed, wor working these hard slaveries, you only, you're really working for a goddamn penny. Talking about seven dollars an hour, seven fifty an hour, ten dollars an hour. But you're working, you're, you're working your whole, you know, everything, man. You're, you're working like a slave. He's working you like a slave. You know what I mean? But we are in captivity under the white man, so don't get it twisted. All right. But we have been oppressed by this man. He has forsaken us. He has used violently force against us. And read that last part, right there. Away. Yeah, you read that. Go ahead. Yeah. Like because he had violently taken away a house which he built of not. Which he built of not. He's taken everything from us. He's taken our land, our culture, our whole nationality, calling themselves the real Jews, Jewish, Amalek people. These are the people who oppress you, who took everything from you. And you, you know what? You better get it back. You better come into the UPK and get your life back. Get everything back from these white people. And let's rule this earth again like we did in the dark ages. Like we did way before then. Way before we was even in captivity under any heathen uh, king or god, whatever you want to call it. Alright? Let's, let's get our world back and let's get our god back. Let's show our God that we won't mess up again. Because the more you mess up, the more you continue to smoke your weed, be a whore, be a homosexual, and break every single law that there is in the Bible. Over 623, I'm going to say laws in the, in the scriptures. 613, 
613, Salakia. All right? As you're breaking every single law, your brother will continue to die. Your brother will continue to get shot up on the block when, when he's the only one hit, but nobody else is hit. Your sister will end up dead in the alley for, for prostituting. She just happened to do one last prostitution hit, and she gets raped, molested, stabbed, shot, head banged to the wall, and now she's found in a dumpster in the, in the alley. If you want these things to stop, it's very simple. It's called keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. But you have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments with no excuses. We don't have time to hear how come you can't do this and that. You just get it done and keep it moving. You find a way. All right? Go ahead and get Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. I'm finna show you something because there's gonna come a time that the white man will be overthrown. All right? There's a time when the white man will not be able to oppress you anymore. And that day will be lovely. And, and that's the day I will jump for joy. Because my people will be saved from this captivity. All right? Go ahead and get that. Ecclesiastes. Mm -hmm. Chapter 3, verse 8. Uh-huh. A time of love. Uh-huh. And a time of hate. There is a time of love. And when it says love, it, there's a time to love your own people, not everybody. And when I say when I say your people, I'm only speaking to blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people. And there's a time to hate as well. It's time to hate the white man and love your people, because you cannot, you can't love both. Because if you love the white man and so-called love your people, you won't be able to help your people and serve your people. Keep going. A time to hate, a time of war, a and time of war, and a time of peace. There is a time of war and peace. Right now, it's warfare time. It's war time. We're fighting a spiritual war. We're fighting through powers and principalities. That's Ephesians 6 and 13, 12 and 13. There is a time of war right now. It's a time to get... All black, Hispanic, and Native American men and women together to serve the Lord again. Because a black man by the name of Yahweh Shai, as you know, as Jesus Christ, he's coming back. I don't know when. I wish I did. I don't know when, what day, what time. But he's coming back. And when he does, he's going to get vengeance on the white man. Ordered from the Lord to do. And as this is going on, man, I promise you, this is our hope. This is our payback. This is our rematch, our revenge, and everything that we always wanted. For all the crimes that the white people and all the other nations as well, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to forget about them either. This is when we will get our justice back for all the crimes that they have committed against us. Falsely accusing us, killing us because they hate us. Like, dang, like, come on now, like, at least, at least kill a man because he's trying to kill you or something. But don't make up something. Don't falsely accuse. Don't do none of those things just to kill a black man. When you're already killing them in abortion, Planned Parenthood, you know what I mean? Keep going. If that's the end of that, read it one more time. Verse 8. A time to love. Uh-huh. A time to hate. A time to love and a time to hate. A Keep time for a war. A time of war. Get your black boots on. And a time of peace. And a time for peace. A time for peace within our people, within our nation. Because we don't have peace. And, and that's another form of, uh, you know, enslavement and oppression. Because the white man's got us out here killing our own people. You know, times is hard out here. Oh yeah, it really is. You barely got any food in the refrigerator. You got cockroaches all over the floor. You ain't got, you barely got any clothes on your back. So what you do? You go rob, you go steal. 
You get into altercations with your own brother. You kill him over a little piece of meat, a little piece of clothing. That shoe that you love so much called Jordans. These things, the white man got you oppressed by, you, you just don't know it. And that's a crime too. Oh yeah, you better believe it. And every single crime that the white man has ever committed from the beginning of time, no, the beginning of slavery, and any other nation as well, will be counted for, I mean, they, they will be counted for that judgment. Oh yeah, they will die. They will be enslaved as well. They will be in chains behind that, all right? Go ahead and get uh, Psalms 137 and 9. Yeah, you got to understand something, man. Like, we got to get our people back together and in order. You know what I mean? One second. Also, I also want to say as well, man, rest in, rest in power to all the brothers and sisters that died in the hands of the white man. You know, Jamar Clark, man, a brother who, who died in handcuffs by, by two officers, or well, I should say one officer shot, you know what I mean, shot him in the head. You know, that, that brother didn't have to die like that. That brother was not trying to reach for his gun when he had handcuffs. And now they want to say that the brother didn't have handcuffs. Well, you know, the video's out there. The brother did have handcuffs. That brother was shot. He was in the headlock. He was in the headlock away from the camera. You know what I mean? And they shot him. Terrible. All right? Go ahead and read that. Psalms, chapter 137. Verse Psalms 137 and 9. Oh, yep. Happy shall be, Slot uh -huh. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Read that one more time and read it a little louder and clearer for the people. Psalms uh -huh. chapter 137. Right. Verse 9. Happy shall he be. That taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Now this will be the Hebrew Israelites that will dash thy little ones, meaning not, not our children, of course, <laughs> you know what I mean? But we will dash the white man, children, against heads against the stone. We will play games with their bodies, how, how they used to play with our babies, how they used to feed the crocodiles, our children. How they used to play a game called Hit the Nigger Baby. We will play Hit the White Baby, Hit the Edomite Baby, Hit the Egyptian Baby, Hit the Chinese, Japanese, East Indian Baby, and whatever other heathens there are. Let's play them games. Let's, let's throw them. Let's throw them. Let's kick them. Let's stuff their heads out. You know what I mean? Because these are because this is gonna be our justice right here. I can't wait for this day. Because I'm tired of seeing my own people being destroyed and killed by the hands of the white man. Alright, go ahead and read that one more time. Happy shall he be that taketh and dust thy little ones against the stones. Happy shall every black Hispanic and Native American man be and woman that dash white people's babies' heads against the stone. Man, I, I can't wait, man. You see, man, you see this right here? Uh, imagine this being a baby's head, and you just dashing that against the stone. It's gonna crack and break, just like this will. Imagine that. Imagine all the things that we are gonna do that the white people did to us. Right, you know, you know what the scripture said? The scripture says, meditate thy terror. Meaning, think about all the things that you can do to the white man, to these heathens, e even in slavery as well. Man, there's going to be a day and time when your kids will be born, and their kids will be born and grown up, and you go to a museum or somewhere and show them that these are the people that we 
you know, we fought against. These are the people that ruled over us. And this is how we got our, uh, got our, um, our nation back. And they will just be looking astonished. Like, wow, really? These are the people that enslaved you? Well, it's good to be alive right now. You damn right it is. Because we would take this world back. We would definitely take our world back. This kingdom would be on the, on the earth soon. You better believe it, man. Keep going. Actually, go ahead and get Revelations 13 and 10. All right? We're going to close it up with Revelations 13 and 10. From the show, and this is proof right here that the white man will be going into slavery. And I can't wait. I already got my, I already got my little, you know, uh, slaves. Um, you know, I pretty, I pretty much got a list of who I want to be my slaves in the kingdom. I definitely want a few presidents. I want a few of my bosses. I want a few Christians as well. Because you devils will be going into slavery. You will be working for me, cutting my lawn. Alright, making my garments. <laughs> Go ahead and get that. Revelations 13, verse 10. Uh -huh. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. See, do you hear that right there? See, the scripture says, he that leadeth into captivity. The white man has led us in captivity, and we are still here in captivity. You are not free, Negro. I'm going to let you know that right now. You are not free to do whatever you want and please to do. Man, black people is probably the only race and, and uh, Hispanics and Native Americans who, who got restrictions on where to go in the earth. Who have restrictions where to be and when to be at a certain place and location. Man, you is not free. You know what I mean? I, I can get deeper into that as well. But read that scripture one more time. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. This white man who has been oppressing you for over 400 years, he's going to go into captivity. And you better believe it. This man will be your slaves. I want me about 100 slaves, probably a lot more. They will be picking my cotton in my, in my yard. They will be picking the garden, the dirt, the soil, everything. They will be building my house and other houses that I may have. They will take care of my, my animal, my food source. They will make this house look spotless. And they will fix this earth back up after it's destroyed. Now you better believe it. That's going to be a glorious dream. I dream about that every damn day. I strive for that day. And you should too, black man. Black woman. Because we will get this kingdom back. So that way our brothers and sisters won't end up stabbed, shot, or killed by the cops. So you don't have to see your little baby boy, your baby girl locked up. You don't have to see your mother your father being choked out by the police. By the white man, period. You don't have to see them throw their whole life away for anyone. 25 years to life, that's a double sentence. You don't have to see that. You can avoid all that by coming into the UPK, man. We have free classes Tuesday through Thursday. Every, I want to say 6 to 7 p.m. And every Monday night, we got commanding General Yohanna, the last angry black man, the ruler of Israel. All right, the one who's taking care of the nation of Israel, not just stinking Christians, all right? With that being said, I want to say shalom. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope 
Pops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit That's a red turd from oppression Felt like my life was on fire Trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord 